Here's the one-two offering. This one is labeled. Makes the grab, two down. And he may be feeling down as he heads back to the dugout, but that's that a swing hurt. to be proud of. That ball. We're back here at the ballpark. Now at the dish, Professor Primetime. And there's a fly ball deep to right. A dive, and he can't haul it in. He makes the turn and digs for second base. Chance at a triple. The relay, not in time. He's safe. That was over in a hurry. Efficient way to get a hit. Man, he smoked that thing. Some serious exit velo there. That's what made that triple possible. Some outstanding loud contact. Now they've got a good shot at scoring the first run of the game with the runner in scoring position. The first base Nobody base. out, runner Three in days. scoring position. The first Four baseman there. digs in now. Tosses to first, but the run comes across from third. One out and two on. The first baseman getting ready to hit. Laser for a base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. Runner around third. Tag, and he's out at the plate. That's a play he won't look back on proudly. He didn't get that great a jump, and he blew through the stop sign at third on the way to getting tagged out at home. Gotta trust your coaches in that situation. One out and the base is empty. The center fielder, number 24, Professor Primetime. That's a hit. And he's clearly locked in after yet another hit. Really seeing the ball well lately. He's a threat every time he steps into the box. Man on at first. The first baseman now at the plate. Up the middle. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. First and second, the one away. Fielder, Next to hit, 10. the left fielder, number 10. Hey. And he's got really good wheels. One of those skills you really can't teach. 0-1, here's the pitch. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base knock. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Here comes the throw. Not in time, runner safe, and a run comes in to score. Leading off for the base off, the center fielder. Professor, prime time. Hey, you can do it, kid. No one better up there. Let's go. Sliced hard, but foul. There you go. Let it fly now. This one in the air to right. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. It's a double three hit ball game. And he's put together quite a game at the plate. That's a good fundamental approach he took to that one. Stayed back, didn't hook the barrel around it, and shot it hard the opposite way. Not every the minor leaguer has the poise or the patience to do that. Let's see if he gives him anything to swing at here. And there's ball full. The left fielder. The left fielder, the next to hit. One two pitch. Gets him swinging.
One down. And here's the catcher. Popped up. And the infield fly is called. Now batting, third baseman, Errol Robinson. So two on and two out. The third baseman digs in now. In the air to left. The left fielder gets there under it. Pulls it down for the catch. Two runners left stranded, but they lead it 3 0. Prime time now will hit next. He's got a single, a double, and the hardest to get, a triple in this game. A home run would complete the cycle. Line drive and a base hit up the middle. No question, he came up ready to hit. Got a first pitch fastball he could handle, and he really ripped it. And we'll see if his speed becomes a factor now that he's on first. One gone and a runner on at first. The first baseman now at the plate. Runner on the move. Pitch in for a strike. Go to second, and he's safe. And a base hit. Headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark, and the runner scores. And they lead by four. Up against it with two strikes right there, but still managed to win the at-bat. That one was served in a punch bowl right down the middle, and he regretted it as soon as it left his hand. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Bayside. Four runs, 12 hits, no errors. They left 13 runners on base. For the Seawolves, no runs, six hits, one error. They left 14 runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. And here at the plate, Professor Primetime. The center fielder, Professor Primetime. That one is absolutely pummeled. And it one hops the wall. One run comes in, headed for the plate. In to score from first. It's 2-0. Well, he had the opportunity to drive in some runs, and he comes through to break the tie. I'm sure he's happy with that swing, especially considering he hit it 107 miles per hour off the lumber. If he got it a grain lower, it might still be flying. Here's the catcher. Batting fifth. The catcher. Boy. Boy. On 0 and 1, the delivery. Out towards left center, the center fielder in position and makes the simple catch.
Runner at second here with two gone. Batting and here's the first baseman. The first baseman, T.T. And ball four, two aboard. The left fielder, the next to hit. First and second, two down. Sharp grounder, and it gets through for a base hit. Around third, here's the throw. But it's offline, the run will score. It's three zip, picks himself up an RBI. That one was served in a punch bowl right down the middle, and he regretted it as soon as it. Second inning set to start. Here's the third baseman, number 27. The 01. Lifted in the air to right center. Tracks it down for the out. One down. Had to cover a lot of ground there, and that's why you take those extra reps during batting practice. Nobody on and two outs. And here's the catcher, Josh Crouch. The 01. Liner to center. He puts it on the line and he makes the catch for out number three. My goodness. Great diving catch to end the inning after the pitcher battles through a tough one. That'll fire up the dugout. Time to go hit. One out and the base is empty. Now batting, the center fielder, Professor Primetime. Swing and a rocket. It's pretty deep. That one hops against the fence. In safely with a double second of the day. And he's notched two hits now, both for extra bases. Pitcher brought the challenge pitch, a heater right down the pipe, and he was definitely geared up for it. One out, runner at second base. Here's the catcher. Now batting, catcher, Dwight Crunch. Pickoff throw, prime time, dives back in safely. Cut on a miss, that's a strikeout. And here's the first baseman. Now batting, the first baseman, T.T. Swing and a miss. At a certain point, you have to commit to swing or take on a pitch. That slider clearly had him fooled. Great pitch. 0-2, rocks and fires. In the air to the right. Lays out, but can't squeeze it. The run comes in from second. It's 4-2. to two. Nice job to drive in the run. That's one way to get a two-strike hit. Maybe he was just trying to protect the zone, but he managed to square up a pitch that wasn't even close. Leading off for the base off. Now his skills at the, the plate and in the field allowed him to excel in the amateur Why ranks. Not? The question is, will that prowess translate to the professional level? Out to center. Moving back for this one. And there's one down. Almost got the inning started with a bang on that fastball. I'm sure he wishes he could have put that over the wall. Two away and a runner in scoring position here. And next, the cleanup hitter, Professor Primetime. And that one hammer. High bounce sends this one over the fence. That's an automatic double. A run comes in on the play. That's a nice swing for the automatic double there. He gets to just amble into second base and wait for his teammate to drive him in. Two out and a now runner in scoring it. position. And here's the catcher. Right. 
In the air to left center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is out number three. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. Eighth inning coming up next. The Bay Sox have the lead, five to two. Prime time was fantastic in the win. Knocked in three runs for him. Every time up, he was a threat, and that's a big piece of why they got the win. Impressive showing for sure. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Bayside. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left 13 runners on base. For the Seawolves, two runs on five hits. No errors. They left eight runners. So up next, Professor Batting Primetime. Third, the center fielder, Professor Primetime. Ah, let's get ready. And there's a base hit around third. Here comes the throw in there. As they jump ahead, a run scores. And with that knock, he advances the hitting streak to 10 games. Quite the run he's on right now, really seeing the ball well. And here's the first baseman. Here comes the 2-2. Two -two. Hit on the ground, might be two. To second, there's one. On to first, double play, and that's the inning. Line to right, and that's a base hit. And next, the cleanup hitter. A swing and a miss. One gone. One away and a runner at first. And now the right fielder. Runner on the go. Strike in there. Throw is low. Can't pick it. The third baseman digs in now. And a miss. That's a strikeout. One down. Here's the catcher, Josh Crouch. The catcher, Josh Crouch. Lines this one hard up the middle and a base hit. So they get a runner on with a one out single. The batter, the second baseman. How you lead. With the go-ahead run in the batter's box. Now batting, center fielder, Professor Primetime. Hey, fly, big boy, here we go. Line drive. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. He's in to score on the sack fly. It's two to two. A lot of times you'll see runners fail to score when the ball's lined that hard into the outfield. So two down, now and now the center, the center fielder, fielder, Professor Primetime. Prime time. Lines this one to center. Makes the play, and it's out number three. They go down in order. It's the ninth inning, and we're all tied up. We're back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth inning in this one. Now it's the second baseman, number 17. A laser into the outfield. That's down, one hops off the wall. The throw to third. Chance at a triple. In safely at third as the go-ahead run. That's the kind of hit the rest of the team will. Here now is our final round 
for the victorious bases. Three runs on seven hits. One error. They left six runners on base. Digging in, Professor Primetime. The center fielder, Professor Primetime. Foul ball there. Runner at second here and one away. Line drive should be extra bases. Coming home. And they'll score first. It's one zip. And that hitting streak he's on grows with that knock. Now up to 11 games. Starting to really generate some momentum here. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this going. Popped up. McGonagall settles under. It. Makes the catch. Batting fifth. The left fielder. Shane. Man at second here with two away. And now the left fielder, number 10. 0 1 now. This one popped up. The second baseman under it. Gets there. Got it. A run on two hits and they. Lifted in the air, right field. One away. Well, he certainly wasn't willing to wait around. We're back here at the ballpark. And now the DH, number 51. Liner into center. And that's a base hit. Base is loaded, no outs. Number 24, Professor Primetime. Okay, dog, right here, one time. Hard hit for a base hit. One runs in. Here's the relay to the plate. Safe. And now they're up by three. And he's clearly locked in after yet another hit. Really seeing the ball well lately. He's a threat every time he steps into the box. McGonagall. There's one. On to first double play. That's what you love to see from nobody on with one out. And the next batter, Professor Primetime. Professor Primetime. <laughs> well struck, right field. It one hops off the wall, could be trouble. Around first, hustling for two. In with a double, makes it two on the night. He was ready to go on the first pitch, and it paid off. Not much to nitpick about that swing. 106 miles per hour on the exit velocity. That ball was simply scorched. On the ground. In plenty of time to first. The left fielder getting ready to hit. That just missed. Walk the batter on four pitches. Now batting. Two away. Runners at first and third. And here's the catcher. Snap throw to first. Back in easily. Inside, almost got the hitter. Grounder, left side. Throws the first. Play made, that ends the inning. No run. With the potential winning run at second. Fouled off, he was late. Right 
That one is absolutely pummeled. No one can get there. It falls in. And the Bay Sox walk it off. They take the win in extra innings. I'm sure he was feeling the pressure in this moment, but he showed a cool head, made good contact, and brought home the winning run. That's fantastic work. A fantastic showing all around, and then he put the exclamation point on it with the walk-off to make it really special. What a game. Final score here, 4-3. to three. A one-run extra 